What's up, everybody? Justin here with a new countdown show. I did one of these in the uh, past, like maybe uh, over two years ago. New countdown. This is a top five countdown. Top five women in wrestling right now. The absolute best women in wrestling, in my opinion, the top five right now. Currently, in November 2018, this is my countdown. This is my top five. If you don't agree or like it too bad, make your own. Comment in the comments. Who are your top five women? Not your favorites. Not just your favorites. Even though a lot of these women I really enjoy watching. They're not all my favorites. Not just your favorites. Your top five, the best women's wrestlers out there. I'm talking about in the world. Not just WWE. Could be anywhere. Ring of Honor, Women of Honor, Impact, Knockouts, NXT, NXT UK, anywhere. Any company, hopefully, uh, anybody that's a fan of my channel and enjoys my shows, hopefully you just... Uh, don't watch WWE and our uh, WWE mark that is brainwashed and think nothing else is good. That there's no other companies that are good out there. Well, if you think that way, you're, you're fucking wrong and you're stupid. And you're not a true wrestling fan. If you just watch WWE, one company, you're really... Uh, you're really doing a disservice to yourself as a wrestling fan by not watching other awesome wrestling companies and other awesome talent. There's a ton of awesome wrestlers out there that don't work for WWE. So this is my top five women, women in wrestling right now as of November 2018. I could do in this show in the future and like... Two, three, four months, maybe before WrestleMania, I'll do another one. And the top five might be different every time. Number five, Shayna Baszler. I'm not a fan of hers. I don't dislike her. I don't hate her. But I'm not a fan of hers. But doesn't matter. I don't have to be. She is damn good. She's really good in the ring. She can. She's a damn good submission wrestler. Just hard. She's hard hitting. She's stiff. But I, I like her style. She's damn good. Shayna Baszler is a really good wrestler. Really good. I would say Shayna Baszler is better than a lot of women on the main roster. Better than uh, Dana Brooke. Better than Nikki Bella, Brie Bella. She's better than Alicia Fox. She's better than a lot of women on the main roster. When Shayna Baszler came in, I I didn't agree with uh, NXT pushing her so hard. She only got pushed, I thought. When she first came in and debuted, I thought and when she won the championship pretty fast. I thought she's only getting pushed because she's friends with Ronda Rousey and she's part of the Ronda Rousey MMA Four Horsewomen. That's the only reason I thought she's being pushed. I was wrong. She deserves to be pushed because she has great talent in the ring. She's a really good worker, really good wrestler too. Number five. Top five women right now. Number five, Shayna Baszler. Again, I'm not a fan of hers. Doesn't matter. And everybody out there watching, you should uh, be able to see that she's good. She's a good wrestler too. Number four, she's one of my favorites. And she's a damn good worker. Damn good wrestler. Kyrie Sane. Number four, Kyrie Sane. That insane elbow is... Insane. I don't know what else to say. It's it's uh, totally insane and just awesome. Kyrie saying I was aware of her. 
uh, right before she was signed by WWE, I I searched Kyrie Sane in uh, stardom and watched a lot of her matches. She was really good in stardom. Don't know what stardom is. It's a women's company in Japan. It's really good. They have a streaming service. You should uh, check it out. Number four, Kyrie Sane. Former NXT Women's Champion. Former or first ever Mae Young Classic winner also. Kyrie Sane is so damn good. I just, if she goes to the main roster after WrestleMania 35, I would love to see Kyrie Sane against Asuka. Or Kyrie Sane against Sasha or Bailey or Charlotte or Kyrie Sane against Becky. Kyrie Sane against Ronda Rousey. That'd probably be good. Uh, Kyrie Sane against Ruby Riot. I think they faced off in NXT before, maybe, but that'd be good. Number four, Kyrie Sane. She is super, super likable. She is a great personality, and she's a damn good wrestler. And she also looks damn good. Very, very cute woman. Very cute girl. Attractive woman, too. Number three, Io Shirai. Io Shirai. I watched a ton of her matches in stardom before she was signed by WWE. She was in the finals of the Mae Young Classic, too. Io Shirai will do very well in WWE. She, she's already done well. She made it to the finals. Io Shirai is great. One of the best wrestlers in the world. Number three, currently, right now, Io Shirai. It could be argued she's number one, but I picked, this is my own countdown. So number three, Io Shirai. Number two, current knockouts champion. She is damn good, a damn good wrestler, damn good worker. Also looks damn good. Tessa Blanchard, number two, Tessa Blanchard. She does. She deserves a lot of credit. She doesn't get enough uh, praise from fans because a lot of fans probably don't watch Impact. But Tessa Blanchard is damn good. She's great. She's great knockouts champion. She recently had a, I believe, 85-minute or maybe longer, 85-minute match with Mercedes Martinez on the indies in a company called Rise. I believe Rise is a women's company. And I, I got to see that match. Uh, Mercedes Martinez, Tessa Blanchard, if nobody uploads it to YouTube, I, I got to pay for that match on their website. I believe Rise has a streaming service on their website. Tessa Blanchard is damn good. I've seen her a lot before in NXT. She's made a couple appearances. Basically, she's just a jobber. She did appear in the May Young, the first ever May Young Classic. But Tessa Blanchard doesn't need WWE. She does not. She does not need WWE to succeed to be looked at. It's a fantastic, great, awesome. One of the best women's wrestlers. I'm happy Tessa Blanchard decided to sign with Impact. I believe for a two-year contract recently. I believe in the spring she signed. Tessa Blanchard, the current Knockouts champion, has had really good matches with Allie. With Sue Young. With um, Taya Valkyrie. Tessa Blanchard, number two. If you haven't seen her work. Watch her on Impact. Watch, uh, go to Impact Wrestling's YouTube. And try to find Tessa Blanchard matches and watch them. She's really good. You will be impressed. Number one, currently, she is the man. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, is number one. She's on fire. Absolutely on fire. Her career has skyrocketed. Thanks to the fans getting behind her. 
and Becky deserves everything she has gotten. She's a two-time, first ever two-time SmackDown Live Women's Champion. The fans are 100% behind her. It, it could be argued Becky is the most over talent the WWE has right now. She is the absolutely most organically over talent. Becky was never, ever in her career forced down our throats by WWE. She was not. And she had a nice push. Her first SmackDown women's title reign. She had a decent, good push. But then she's pushed to the backside and behind a lot of other women. But now Becky Lynch and her career has just skyrocketed to the top. Uh, it could be argued Ronda Rousey, Becky are the two best women WWE has and the most over. And they are. I won't argue that. Which one is ahead of the other? I would say Becky's ahead of Ronda. But Ronda's still very good. And Ronda's still really over. I'm sure a lot of fans want to see Becky defeat Ronda and tap her out. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think either of them are going to lose. I just don't. They'll probably end up on the outside brawling and there'll be a count out or disqualification. Because I mean, it would hurt Ronda and make Ronda look weak. This is my opinion. It'd make Ronda look weak if she lost to Becky at Survivor Series, if she lost clean. Would it hurt Ronda? No. But it kind of, to me, it'd make her look weak. I don't think Ronda should lose until WrestleMania 35. And Becky also should not lose at Survivor Series. I would be absolutely fine with a no contest, a count out or disqualification finish. And uh, so I'm not, I was going to bring up a lot of fans on Twitter uh, uh, bitched and cried about Nikki Cross. Make, they, some think she made her debut on the main roster. I don't. I just think it was a one off. Maybe she did. I don't know. But I think it was a one-off. Just a surprise appearance on SmackDown Live. But a lot of fans like to bitch and cry that WWE, why would they have Nikki Cross lose in her debut? It wasn't her debut, in my opinion. It was not her debut on the main roster. And who cares if she lost? She had to lose, in my opinion. She was... Facing the champ, Becky Lynch. So all you stupid crybabies on the internet that just like to bitch and cry about how bad and awful WWE is, you're stupid. Because Nikki Cross had to lose to the champ. That would have been really stupid if Becky would have lost to Nikki Cross clean. Would have been shocking, but... Would have been stupid also. So number one, Becky Lynch. Who are your top five women in wrestling right now? My top five, Shayna Baszler, Kyrie Sane, Io Shirai, Tessa Blanchard, and Becky Lynch. Who are your top five? Tell me in the comments. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Also at NXT WWE Guy. Also subscribe, like, comment, share. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.